guys, so today's look is this um, kind of like night out makeup tutorial look. I mean, it's a night out look. Whoops, sorry. Um, it's pretty much using the NARS Kalahari Duo. That is the main focus. And um, I don't go into my face makeup for this, but I pretty much do my normal everyday um, foundation routine, which you guys can see if you look at my past videos. And I just contoured my face with some cream blush. Um, that is in a bronze color, obviously. So if you guys want to know how to do that with a cream blush, tell me and I will make a video on that. But anyway, I hope that you guys like this. It is pretty much for a night out. Um, I'm going to a concert tonight and I didn't want to do like just a smoky eye. I wanted to do something that if I walk around beforehand or afterwards, I won't look like a total freak going around like with heavy makeup and like a Metallica t-shirt and things like that. So yeah, I hope that you guys like this look and let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe for my 200 subscriber giveaway. I always stutter on that. And um, yeah, that is it. So I will talk, I will get right into the video. So I have already put on all my face makeup, which is why you guys are kind of zoomed in right now. And I'm going to start by applying a base and I'm using the Maybelline Color Tattoo by iStudio in the color 30 pomegranate punk, punk and I decided oh I'm going to put this on my ring finger and just apply it to my lid and I use my ring finger just to warm the color up because these can just any type of paint pot or cream eyeshadow can be a little bit uh, chalky when it's in the pot and I'm just going to apply this mainly on the center of my lid and focus it there and I chose to use this product because um, the eyeshadow that I'm using, I wanted to bring out more of the purple, um, within the product. Now taking a MAC 217, I'm just going to blend this out. So now I'm going to take the NARS Kalahari Duo, which is from their summer collection, and I'm going to take the left color, which is this shiny color, and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid using a MAC 242 shadow brush all over your lid and I'm just going to pat the color down because I want it to be very vibrant and to not have as much fallout because it is, um, it does have like that purple tinge so it's not just like a natural, um, color like a brown or something where you're not going to notice as much fallout. So just really pack on a color. Now taking a pencil brush, I'm going to dip into the other color which is um, the darker brown color and I noticed that this one you really don't need a lot of the product which is why I'm going to use a pencil brush to apply it and I'm just going to apply it to the outer um, corner in a little V shape and just apply it into my crease as well and I'm just placing it right now making sure to get a very specific application and a really great dupe for this eyeshadow duo is in the NYX, I believe it's the Runway, or the Mysterious Brown Eyes. I just looked at it and it is a perfect dupe. So now I'm going to go back in with the 217 brush that I used before and just blend this color out. Now I'm going to take a shadow from the Naked Look by Too Faced and it is the color Pink Cheap. Just a very kind of light, shimmery with uh, color with just a little bit of pink. And I'm just going to apply this to my brow bone as a highlight. And with a clean blending brush, I'm just going to blend the highlight and the lid color together. And just make sure that the lid color doesn't have like a harsh line before hitting the rest of my face. <laughs> Now with the same uh, pencil brush as before, I'm just going to take the darker color and apply it to my lower lash line on the outer third. And after wiping the brush off of my hand, I'm going to take the lighter color, just a little bit of it, and apply it right there. Now I'm just going to take my favorite black eyeliner and line my waterline. For my upper lash line, as always, I'm going to use my Stila Sale Day Liquid Waterproof Eyeliner in Carbon Black. And this is going to be really important for when I apply my false lashes afterwards. I'm going to wing it out. So 
So now I'm going to prep my eyes for my lashes and I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. And I'm going to use the YSL Shocking Mascara. And this mascara you have to be very um, careful and take your time when you apply it so that you don't get an overly clumpy look. And I wanted a mascara for this look that would be very volumizing. This way when I apply the false lashes, they will blend much easier. And I'm just going to apply it to my lower lash line. For my false lashes, I'm going to use the Ardell Sweeties. And I'm just using some black waterproof glue that is also by Ardell. Just apply them carefully and closely to the lash line. And now I'm just going to curl up my false lashes with my regular lashes. And you have to be very careful in doing those because your false lashes will curl much easier. And so you don't want them to look like really, really fake. So now I'm just going to apply an inner corner highlight using another pencil brush. I have a clean one. And I'm just going to apply it right and my tear duct. Like that. I'm going to quickly set my brows with an Anastasia gel and just kind of shape them a little bit. Um, I'm going to apply some liquid highlighter by Stila and this is an all over shimmer and I'm just going to apply it to the tops of my cheeks since I already did bronze my skin and I'm not going to apply any type of blush. And I'm just going to blend this with my finger. And a little bit down my nose. So now for my lips, I'm going to go ahead and apply a lipstick. And I'm going to use Max Shy, which is a shine and luster. And it looks like this. On top of that, I'm going to apply a MAC um, lip gloss. It's a sun tint with SPF 20, and it's called Full of Grace. Okay, so that is it for this look. I hope that you guys like it. Don't forget to comment down below and subscribe. And yeah, I hope that you guys try out this look for yourself. Leave any video requests down below. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.